Welcome to Chapter 3, The Remarkable Body. The Nervous System and Why We Eat by Professor Tammy. Learning Objectives 1. Summarize the interactions between the hormonal and nervous systems and nutrition. How does the nervous system interact with nutrition? So there's the fight or flight reaction. That's a stress response. We have neurotransmitters. They're chemicals that are released at the end of each nerve cell when a nerve impulse arrives there. So there's epinephrine. That is the major hormone that elicits the stress response. So when you're stressed, it goes, Woo, hi, I'm epinephrine helping you. That I'm the major hormone. And then there's the norepinephrine. A compound related to epinephrine that helps elicit the stress response as well. Metabolism speeds up. Think of it when you're nervous too. So what happens to your body when you're in the middle of a dark alley and you hear a noise? You know, think of how strong you become or how fast you become. Think of your hearing, your response level, your like you're starting to have super hearing, you hear every single detail of a noise too. So you can also think about like, how's your reaction when you need to save someone you love? Maybe you might end up running faster than you normally do too. Um, especially someone you love that's falling from the second to the first floor. You're like, oh my goodness. And you're like, Shh, like you're splash. And again, when you are nervous, Sometimes your organ also responds, your eyes, your ears, your heart, your liver and stomach. You, you feel different. Your body feels different. Why do we want to eat? Appetite versus hunger. Appetite is a desire to eat that is stimulated by sight, smell, thought or food. So, for example, let's just say you're going to the movies when we go to the movies again and you like... I'm going to eat before I go to the movie because I cannot pay a million bucks for those popcorn, tacos, or nachos, and soda. So I'm going to eat before I go. So when you get to the movie theater and you start smelling the popcorn and you see the popcorn and then you hear the popcorn, pop, 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 you're like, oh man, I know I'm full. But I feel hungry. Mm -mm. It is not hunger. It's appetite. It's a thought of food. Hunger is something physical. Appetite is something more psychological. So hunger is a physiological drive to eat that occurs when our body senses that we need food. It's when we're physically hungry. The hypothalamus region of the brain contains a cluster of nerve cells known as the feeding center and another cluster of cells known as the satiety center. So nerve cells in the stomach and small intestine sense food and send messages to the hypothalamus. Hey yo! Hormones relay messages, relay messages to the hypothalamus. So they, they tell the hypothalamus what's happening. They tell the hypothalamus, I'm hungry, oh I'm full. So the amount and the type of food consumed influence satiety. So what it means is what you eat and how much you eat uh, depends how whether you feel full or not, you know, how quickly or how slowly, you know, it's a matter of when. The hormonal and nervous systems. Hormones, they are chemical messengers. Hormones also secrete and release directly into blood by glands. Hormones stimulate organs to take action. Glands monitor conditions in the body, such as the pancreas. The pancreas produces the hormones, such as insulin and glucagon. Insulin lowers the blood glucose when it's too high. For example, you decide to eat a chocolate sugary candy bar, and you're like, mmm, yum, goes through your digestive system and your... Now the sugar's in your blood and your body's saying, ooh, there's a lot of sugar in that blood. Insulin, we need you to lower the blood glucose in the blood. Okay, time for you to work. 
As far as glucagon, it raises blood glucose when it's low. Whether you are diabetic or not, let's just say, whoa, insulin, you just produce a little too much insulin for that candy bar. Whoa, the, the blood um, sugar is a little too low. Glucagon, come on, you need to um, come out and get working. So that's why these two hormones are very important. Some functions of hormones. They regulate the digestive system in response to meals or fasting, like we just spoke about. Inform the brain in degree of body fatness. Help regulate hunger and appetite. Influence appetite changes during a woman's menstrual cycle and in pregnancy. Regulate the body's stress to reaction to stress, suppressing hunger and digestion. Why do we want to eat? The singles that prompt us to eat include nerve receptors and blood glucose levels. So for nerve receptors in the stomach, if it's hungry or full, it'll signal to the hypothalamus, which is in the brain, to say, hey, I am hungry or I am full. So if I'm hungry, please eat something. If I'm full, okay, you can stop eating. And the blood glucose level triggers the release of hormones called insulin and glucagon, which we just mentioned in the previous slide. See you soon. And remember to read the book.